All right, guys, so we're going to walk over to my car. We got Jeff's right here, Dotson Garage, Speed Hut Gauges, Wat Knobby Wheels. <laughs> so let me open up. And then you guys can see all the speed hot gauges are in. I really have to say that the block you guys give to make the uh, wiring like very fast. Literally it was just drop each one in, <laughs> run the power, turn it to a key and they fired up. Even doing the uh, like mounting, putting the lights to the uh, actual headlight switch. I just tapped into like the power of the headlight switch. And so right when I hit headlight, all the lights come on. So it, it, it was, man, it probably was seriously like to wire the car, get it into accessory and all that kind of stuff, probably took like an hour and a half. That's not bad. Yeah, and I didn't have to use any other stuff. Like I just used what you guys gave me. Cause that was like the main thing. Like I have everything here. They give me everything here. I can make this work without having to spend thousands of dollars on a wiring harness for gauges. I purchased the vehicle uh, about eight months ago and I wanted to get a chassis that was uh, pre-smog cause in California, once you hit 75, 76, 76 is smog. I had a two plus two for about eight years. That was a daily driver. And so smog just got tighter and tighter and tighter. So ultimately what I did is I purchased this to swap all those parts into this car. And then as everything started going and we started talking with everyone at Speed Hunt and everybody like, we just decided, okay, let's go to SEMA. And that was where like the big push happened. And then after that was strip the car down, get it to bare metal. It was just a shell at that point. Yeah. As we started moving along, like, got the body work done, got the body kit sent from Japan. Um, I had to convert a coupe kit into a two plus two kit. So like on all of Oscar's cars, Jeff's cars, their rear end is narrower. So I had to widen all this out and then body work all this because I have an extra foot right there. So like this piece is supposed to be on this door. Yeah, so I had to mold everything together. So it took like four months, eh, three months to get all that molded together, straight to the painter. They painted and then right when the painter got done, I linked up with, I actually got the speed hut gauges right at that point. And then Just Ashes came in and then Nick over at Lunar Looks came in and we just were able to like Voltron it, like boom, boom, <laughs> boom together. It kind of was like three, four hours to put them in from like no dash to dash in, gauges working without like pulling your hair out. Yeah. And that was the best part about the whole like in experience because I was getting a little worried because my first wiring job, I like full wiring job I did. So headlights, taillights, motor, first time I did that. And like when I got to the speed hub part of it, I was like <laughs> on. <laughs> and it just, it was easy, it just worked. And what's nice is like with the GPS stuff and all of the like, the, the oil pressure gauge, you give the, the water temp gauges and stuff like that, like, and the cable run was perfect length. It allowed me to like run it, tuck it and hide it to get it to where you just don't see it. Like all the other cars in the lineup, um, we're on the Watanabe wheels. These are their new aluminum wheels, uh, 15 by 11, negative 44 offset. Um, body kit, I'm three people in America with the kit. And then there's a couple other parts on the car that only the owner of the body kit company has. Like there's a big scoop grill in the front. I do have to say T3 came in and they just knocked it out of the park. Like I'm talking from head to toe, this is all new suspension. Like new lower control arms, new uh, struts, roll centers. They hooked up a full brake kit. Like they really came through. Just like how you guys came through. Like it seemed like once you guys came on board, a lot of the companies saw that this was a real thing. And then they started being a sponsor. So what the car was, was two buckets in the front and then a bench in the back. So just through like doing numbers and math and figuring everything out, we got it to be four buckets. So we're running four buckets, kind of like just a first time thing. And then really the goal for this car is to take it to the track is the best way to put it. So <laughs> this is the man that made the kit. So he flew from Japan to, yeah, to look at the car and check out SEMA. Thank you, thank you. So, yeah, this is the company right here. I guess what I'll do is I'll walk you around more of the car so you can kind of see like, I guess more like the cool little details that were added onto it. Some of the parts that just don't exist, like his car, my car, is the like the scoop grills and stuff like that. It's really for racing to um, just allow more air into it. And it's a new grill. No one's really done these before. And then coming around, like I was saying, working with Just Ashes, 
working with Watt Nobby in Extreme Rap and Tiny Bot, getting the raps out to us so fast, like it just goes back to like one one car with multiple people coming together to like achieve one goal, like really comes together fast, quick, and it ends up being a really nice product at the end of the day. Like I can't thank you guys enough for this. Like really. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I'm kind of rambling. Like, I want to go into the motor, but I can't open the damn thing. And so the motor that I ended up putting in is the uh, L28 N42. I did a triple Weber setup, so it's a very classy setup. I ended up linking up with Aeromotive, and Aeromotive gave me the drop-in fuel cell, the fuel regulators for a carb setup, and then all the filters. And it's really kind of like a first-time drop-in system that's been done on a Datsun because not a lot of people are used to doing drop-ins. They do a lot of external pumps, but this was one of those opportunities where I saw they have this pump, they've never done it on this car, let's try to make it work. And then it ended up working really well. So that was like the way the motor really started going in that direction. And then trans is just a basic four speed. We're gonna upgrade to four speed, five speed, depending on like what track conditions we're gonna be getting the car into. I know it's a nice looking car, but we built it to drive. You know what I mean? That's the biggest thing. So the motor's a reliable motor, trans is reliable. And then like, again, with all the suspension that we got from all the companies, like switching out the differentials are very quick changes. Like it's one, two bolts, drop the four on the, the drive shaft, and then you can just slide it out and you can start, if you're going from track to drift or quarter mile, like it just allows you to do different things. And like, honestly, like with your gauges, like it allows me to just stay on top of everything. You know what I mean? Because like, I'm gonna be swapping all these parts out fast. The adaptability of the gauge to like the parts I'm putting in the motor allow me to just really maximize the, the use of the car. And so that's kind of like what we were doing here, was just showing different motors, different motor swaps, different styles, different uh, reasons for the cars being built. Um, and that was kind of the goal. And I hope we nailed it. I think we did. People like them. We're getting a lot of photos, so. <laughs> all right, thanks guys. I appreciate you guys looking at my build. <laughs> this is dope, thank you Jeff.